Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a review on Otherworld Barbara by Moto Hagio. This is a Fantagraphics release. Uh, these are both two-in-one omnibuses, I believe, so I guess it was four volumes originally in Japan. Uh, but these are the two beautiful hardcover, huge, there's my hand, that's how big the book is, um, editions. These are really lovely. Fantagraphics always does lovely uh, releases. They're quite pricey. But if you find them for a good price, definitely worth it. Uh, there's lots of color pages and really beautiful artwork in here. Definitely uh, worthy of such a huge, beautiful release for sure. This is my first Moto Hagio work that I have read. It's the only one I own. Um, this is the one that I'd been the most interested in out of all the releases that have come out in English. This is the one that I always came back to. And because they're quite pricey, it's very intimidating to try and pick up a Moto Hagio work when each of these volumes is like $40. And I don't know, I can't remember, that's I think the American price. Uh, Canadian price is higher than that, I believe. Uh, it's kind of intimidating if you've never read anything by Moto Hagio and are unsure, like I was, to go and spend that amount of money and I always I was interested also in Heart of Thomas which unfortunately at this point is out of print but that one as well was a hardcover beautiful Fantagraphics release that costs like fifty dollars um or more than that I can't remember at this point but I just wasn't wanting to spend that much money on a single volume or a single series one shot that I was unsure of and so Fantagraphics had a sale on Chapters, which is by where I buy most of my manga because I'm in Canada, um, earlier in a couple months ago or so. And I went, you know what? I'm going to regret it if I don't buy this. I'm just going to do it, and hopefully it's good. And thankfully, very good series. Uh, very good introduction for me to Moto Hagio. I am excited to read more. I am now interested in picking up the Poe Clan, even though it wasn't something story-wise that I thought I'd be interested in, but I'm, I'm curious to see more, so I will probably pick that up at some point. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this. It is a sci-fi story interlocking sort of uh, many different angles, characters, and situations all happening at one time, and then they all kind of intertwine with each other, and, and you unravel the mystery of the story as it goes along. Very beautifully done very well done and very captivating. I find that it is so easy with stories like this to get super confused and very easy to um, not understand what's happening. And with this one, you do have to pay attention while you're reading it. You, you can't just, this is not a leisurely read, but I didn't ever find myself confused. I didn't have to go back and reread things. I didn't have to stop and try and figure out what I was looking at or what was happening, I found that I was very easily able to just read it. As long as I paid attention, I knew what was going on and I understood how the things were connecting to each other because it was just very well done, well written, and well thought out. And it made it so easy to read, um, which I enjoyed because it... it shows you that the mangaka put time and effort into the story and wasn't just trying to throw a bunch of different scenarios together, but really took the time to make sure that all of the pieces fit together nicely in a way that was easy to understand while you're reading it. Because it's, you know, it's one thing to do, have a heavy topic and whatever, and, and, you know, at the end of it, you're sitting there thinking about what it all meant. But it's another thing entirely if you have a bunch of interlocking different timelines and different stories and different pathways and characters and everybody's going in different directions, but it all means the same thing. It's so easy to mix that all up and make it difficult for the reader to understand what's happening. Um, and what comes to mind for me is Nijigahara Holograph, also Fantagraphics release, but by Inio Asano, where I've read that one maybe four or five times. It's a single volume. And there's something to be said, again, about, you know, trying to piece everything together and learning something new every time you read it and whatever, but there's also something to be said about reading it and not understanding what's happening. 
not knowing who's who, what's going on, what time you're in, what, like, future, past, present, it, it doesn't make sense. And you have to read it so many times to figure out even what is happening, which is fine, but a little frustrating. Whereas this one, I'm sure that when I reread this series, I will find things I didn't find before. However, the fact that I could understand it enough in my first read through without, like I said, having to go back and figure out who's who and what's going on is so pleasant and refreshing. And I really enjoyed it. I don't even want to try and get into what this story is about because I don't, first of all, spoilers, and I don't want to, you know, give anything away. But I also, like, I think that this is just something you need to experience for yourself. And it's a, like I said, it's a sci fi story. It involves this sort of other world, um, hence, other world Barbara. Um, this mysterious Barbara, what is it? Who is it? What does it mean? Um, it's so fascinating and very much a well thought out, interesting, intricate story with some really fascinating characters, some really heartbreaking sort of scenarios and moments. The art is just really stunning. Um, yeah, I highly recommend reading it if you've not, uh, if you've not read it yet, and especially if you've not read anything by Moto Hagio, um, like, like myself, this was a very good one. Uh, it's so, so fascinating. And our main character is, he's a dream, he can see into people's dreams. And so it's a story of him being called to action with this particular person who they want him to go into her dreams and see what's happening. And he gets more involved with it than he's, he should. Um, and then of course, other people in his, other people and places in his life are starting to, he's noticing, noticing, sorry, some similarities between what he's seeing in the dream world versus what's going on around him. And he's trying to piece together what is going on and what it all means. And yeah, it's a story of family. It's a story of loss. It's a story of, of childhood innocence and trying to just hold on to that instead of kind of growing up and, and having to face the reality of life. Very, very fascinating, very hard hitting absolutely beautiful um yeah it's it's so well done and these releases are gorgeous and i highly recommend picking it up uh before it goes out of print i think it's fanographics has these wonderful releases but pretty much once they're gone they're 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 usually gone um uh, yeah so that is otherworld barbara by moto hagio i look forward to my future reads of moto hagio um yeah it's just I knew when I picked this up that that uh, Ray from Whimsical Pictures would uh, be quite happy that 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 I had picked this up, and uh, I am I am sure that uh, she'll be happy to hear that I enjoyed it quite immensely. So, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. If you've read anything else by Moto Hagio and would like to recommend it to me, if it is English uh, translated legally in English, um, and I'm able to pick it up, then please let me know. And yeah. Thanks for watching.